I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Duncan Rope Two Goodbye Despair. Last episode, we saw the execution of Teru Teru. That was hilarious. Like the accent that he came up with, that accent actually made the whole episode for me because I did not expect that. What a freaking twist. I mean, sorry. What a twist. Thank you all so much for 50,000 likes the last video, 50,000 more likes on this video, and I will release the next video as soon as I can. But we're about to jump back into it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. For a long time. Humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Cap. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. Nagito is definitely an interesting character. I kind of want to get to know him a little bit better. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win. Me? They are all worthless trash. Me, 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 it will never become a large dog. I mean, he's speaking facts, Loki. No matter key. how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. I mean, that's like half true. That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Uh, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is... Wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? So is he the main what character I feel of this game? Is more pure. More like a selfless dog. He's getting a lot of screen time. Return. So I want you He's guys to get top billing. I say, I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. This man's ready to die. I don't die care if the killer survives. Or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair <laughs> collide and unleash their energy. So please, let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. Is he actually talking to somebody or is he like talking to Mira in his room? I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits. Oh, shut up! I hope that was me that said that. Chapter 2 Sea and Punishments, Sin and Coconuts. I love all of those things. I love the sea, I love punishment, I love sin, and I love some big juicy coconuts. Biakuya and Teru Teru died last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I headed toward the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. But the food's gonna taste like ass because Teru Teru's not there to cook anymore. Oh well. What's up, everybody? Oh. Uh, Hajime, you're already here. Good morning. Uh. Yo. Good morning. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Okay, we know what happened. Stop showing it! The Ikuya who appointed himself as our leader was killed. And the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. The execution was, eh. You know, it was okay. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel so sad. <laughs> That's like what happened. Biakuya and Teru Teru got killed. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. Damn! Yeah. <laughs> Why are you always so mean to me? But... Still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? That hey, accent. Hey. I love that accent. We won't hear it anymore. What the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? 
No. No? That was not my intention, but... Hey. Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spat on him too. I would have mm. pissed on him and shit on his grave. Huh. Huh? Jeez. Hey, what gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like well, that. It's not about that, but smells. something smells, don't you think? Huh? Uh, again? It can't Don't be. tell me. It better not be another dead body. Mm. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. Smells bad? Um. It's kind of like how a bar or nightclub smells after closing time, you see. How the hell would she know? She's a high school girl. What kind of bar is she going to? Hey, hey, hey. I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Now that you mention it, I do smell something. It's like a sewer or rotting garbage. I got it! <laughs> I know what it is. Nekumaru's breath probably stinks. <laughs> you got me there! She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. No, it's not Nekumaru. This smell is coming from you, Hyoko. Huh? Whoa, it's true! Hyoko, you reek! What did you do to me? A rotten smell stings my eyes, as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. <laughs> oh, oh, I think she shit her kimono. Oh, my oh she's crying. Hey. I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. That was ah, no, it actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I can breathe with my mouth. <laughs> ah! Like, are you even taking baths? <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't bathed. I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Hey. hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? <laughs> really? I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Yay! Yay! I love you, Mihiru. I'll give you a kiss. Man, what the hell's up with this after-school special shit, man? Let's get back to the killing! Let's get back to murdering these peoples! Hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to hug me. It appears you cannot <laughs> She appears to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when what? The air is suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Um, anyway, what happened to Fuyuhiko and Nagito? It seems they are both not here. Ah, uh, now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... Just letting you know, I don't know anything! No Without idea. hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all! Right. He's right, forget him! Let's just forget about that creep already. They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course I'm not, not suspicious! Impossible. Huh, that's right! I'm not suspicious! What's, the matter? What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came just at the right time! Hmm? hmm? At the right time? No, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that? Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? You know, my mono beast. One of them just disappeared. Huh? One of the mono beasts disappeared? Hmm. Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much? Perhaps they're boycotting me? But that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. That's what you want to say, right? Huh? Though this is merely the prelude, the climax will occur soon after. Now then, let me hear your scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. Hmm? Hey Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. I'm still being called a stuffed animal. Oh well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise cat bot once said, Our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving forward. 
As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again, he disappeared. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. Hmm, the only possibility I can think of is... Um, um were you in the middle of something? If so, I could just come back later. <laughs> then leave. Yeah. Uh, at least ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey. Uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Ta-da! Ta I'm the one who defeated the mono beast. You did? You serious? Defeating a monster like that? How the hell did someone like you pull that off? <laughs> I'll talk about that more in detail in a different mode. Anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. Hey, hey. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Ahem, uh -huh. that's totally right. Now that you all can go to more areas, let's all get along and live a fun life together for sure this time. Love, love. love, love. Living together on this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Of course, escaping this island is our main goal. Huh? huh? Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood-type action film. I want to live a life where I can be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. All right. If you find anything that can be salvaged for both parts, let me know immediately. Um, it seems that everyone's united on a path that's different from what I had planned. Now, then, <laughs> let's then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. All right. All right. Let's find a way to leave this island. That is impossible. Huh? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what is that? Ah! Hey, hey. hey, Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't get that close to her. You're right. It seems everyone's attention has shifted toward exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape the situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. I guess that we're gonna do the same. Well, except you. Hmm. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues too. Aww. Yeah, you can. You promised you'd tie my kimono sash. Hey. That was. Uh, we can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but if I don't hurry and go take a bath, they'll call me smelly again. They're gonna bully me again. Oh, yeah. like she hasn't been a bully this whole freaking game. Okay, then let's take a light shower first. Yay! Yay we're gonna wash each other. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. calm it down, calm it down. <laughs> now, now, we're both girls. There's no need to be shy. But... but come on, let's go! Hiyoko pulled Mahiro's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed toward the cottages. Wash each other? I see. Washing each other, huh? Yeah, washing each other. Let's go head out of here. We're gonna go check out that new island, and I want to hang out with Nagito when we get some free time. Yeah, buddy! Leveled up for no freaking reason. Hey, there's the Mono Beast! One of those strange Mono Beast machines is blocking the bridge. I shouldn't carelessly approach it. Oh, this is not the new island? Well, suck me sideways. Where do I go? Another freaking mono beast? Where do I go? Bro, an onyx looking mono beast? Dude, these guys need to chill. Everybody just gotta relax. Mono beast on mono beast, boy. There you go. This has gotta be it. There's no mono beast over here. She's right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monomi was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? All right, I guess I should find out. Thank you, dude. Thanks for talking to yourself before you. Whoa! Oh, hey, hey! What's this going is on here? The new island. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Well, now's not the time for me to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. That's cool that there's five different islands, so we get different aesthetics every single time. Wait, before I go back, I need to investigate this island. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay, let's see where we're going to go first. Look at this Legends of the Hidden Temple. Ancient Ruin. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now this is definitely intriguing me. What is this enormous building? It has the ambience of an ancient ruin, but its shape doesn't resemble a ruin. Hey, Chiaki. Uh, sorry, I was dozing for a bit. You didn't look like you were dozing. You looked like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, what's this huge building? It looks like some sort of ruins, or a historical landmark. Ancient ruins, that's what you think too? But it's not just a typical ancient ruin, don't you think? 
I don't know how to say it clearly, but... Yep. Yeah, it's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. A special place. I'll check around here a bit more so you can go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Come on, just go somewhere else. Is she trying to make me go away? She probably wants to be alone so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yep. Yeah, leave it to me. Jeez, she's completely doing her own thing, but her smile is so innocent. That's even more annoying to deal with. She looks annoying. Like, she low-key annoying. Always sleeping all the time. Sleeping on the damn job. Like, how could you? Library. Aw, think Akuya loved the library. He loved to read. He loved to be nosy, too, and looking at, like, cold case files. Wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. What's this? Destroy statue. The bronze statue of Monomi. I mean, Usami. Before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's pretty sad. Well, um... Oh, look! Monokuma doll! Yeah, buddy! Give me that. Huh? Hitting Monokuma on a surfboard. Let's get it surfs up, my dudes. Let's catch some waves, my bros. I see. This is a huge library, but there are no other human beings to be found here at all. Just as I thought, it might be safe to assume that this island is also uninhabited. Mm, no interesting information Surprise. there. I am a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? That is very true, and just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. <laughs> Ta-da! Monami is here. I'm reading a book. <laughs> ah, since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Not really, um, but I guess you will anyway. Uh, it's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. And what about your explanation? Got it? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do homework. So, I have prepared this library. Um. Prepared? You? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. Hey. I am a teacher! You're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Real identity? Now that's silly. Goodbye. Running away as soon as things got inconvenient. That's even more sus. However... I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. According to this I island's see. guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means... These are all probably things they donated. Hold on, did you just say this island's guidebook? I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? What language is this? I have no clue. It's in English, dude! Then, then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> uh-huh. I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? Bruh, it's clear as day in English. But I mean, I guess since they're in Japan, maybe this looks very foreign to them. Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly what Biakuya told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a larger administrative building. Huh? It is strange, That's strange. No? I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island... There was no sign of any building at all. The only things there were, Monokuma Rock and the park. Um, also, according to this guidebook, it says that there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into the Mono Beast? But that statue was in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. That is not all. There is another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some people wanted bridges, critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? Then, what are we using to move between islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island like Palm Jamora. Palm Jamura, artificial island. Well? Palm Jamira is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. 
Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. That especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. My, my. You're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? Hey. However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Hmm. It's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Hey, hold on! But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot could be. it be? This island is completely artificial? There is no way that is true. There's no way. That guidebook, it's probably just old. You are right. You are right. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things just to confuse us. Damn it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Okay, that was a lot of information to take in. But what else we got over here? Nothing important. Okay, there's a pharmacy right over here. Why does this island look like a regular place? This kind of looks like the Las Vegas Strip or something. It's pretty interesting. Like, this whole thing looks futuristic. What's with you? I'm sorry. I got so excited I started shouting. I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before, people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here either. Um, with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should decline definitely. Did I just say that backwards? I think I said definitely decline. Whatever. The signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Why was that pig looking super erotic? Like that pig was basically saying, eat me. Actually, that pig was saying like, make love to me, then eat me. Huh? That looks like... Hey, my guy! Oh, it's you. I'm just kidding. That's not my guy. Dumbass. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass! Fuyihiko suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on. Why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? Yeah, why do you know about the new island, asshole? Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? <laughs> are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? I told off. you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Jeez. <sighs> An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person. Then I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. <laughs> Mystery solved. You happy now? So, get the hell out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying person. It's got nothing huh? to do with Mind you. Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me, because I'm also an annoying person. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not avoiding you bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone? <laughs> that includes the Kazuryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't, don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it on my own without relying on my clan. Huh. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut, Shut up! Why'd you let me bring that up anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway. anyway, I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it. Huh, isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Biakuya and Teru Teru, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You, you're still saying that. Of course. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. Heh, <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. F off. What the hell? He was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. I feel like he's just a complicated character. Leave here? Yes. I think he's gonna be interesting. 
He's gonna have a lot of layers to him. We're just peeling him back like an onion. Look at that pig. Yo, look at the way that pig is looking, dude. Hold up, look at that. God damn, the diner signboard is spinning. A spinning restaurant signboard on an uninhabited island is kind of freaky. So is the way that pig's looking, looking freaky deaky. There's a tunnel in the very back. Oh, I didn't even notice that tunnel. That looks like a haunted tunnel. I bet you I know who's here. Nagito. Wait, there's a house here. Ah! A scream. That voice just now. Wasn't that Ibuki? Uh-oh. Oh, I gotta do it? Oh, okay. It went from 2D to 3D real freaking quick. That scream came from behind the building. Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, Ibuki's alive. And then there's a Monokuma thing here. Hey, give me that, give me that, give me that. Yes, sir. You guys know what Are I you do. Serious? You can't hide from me for too long. I got a lot of coins, too. I should go get some gifts. But we gotta talk to Ibuki. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Ibuki, are you all right? What happened? This is bad. I'm panicking so much, I don't even have time to space my words. What's going on? The killing. The killing started again. Huh? Look, over there. So I glanced over to the beach where Ibuki was pointing her finger. Oh. Man, I want it to be real killing. Just fake-ass fighting. Okay, time for a water break. Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. Damn it, what the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win? Against me? That's quite absurd! <laughs> Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? Wh He's done for? it. Nekamaru Nidai's ultimate move, Super Body Blow. That's instant death. If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. Sheesh. Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Huh? huh? This isn't a fight. It's, it's a one-sided beatdown. That's even worse. The rules for the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. Training. What violence? That is not a real fight, we're training! But it looked like a real fight. Ha! Huh? Huh, I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. Training. We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all! Even so, why the sudden interest in training? Huh, <sighs> if I gotta admit it. Ah, oh, she's alive! Fool. She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. He looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Aww. What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. I see. Akane, it seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing, it's all half-assed. You are not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Hey, basics! Attention. Make sure you understand the basics! You'll always be second rate if you just rely on instinct! You... Damn it. Shut up. Then... If you understand what I just said, come see me. When that time comes, I will fight you once again. Don't forget! <laughs> you better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy! I won't give up until I beat you. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. However, However, if she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl, that girl she's probably she's gonna, gonna get, get even, even stronger. stronger. Yeah, yeah you're, you're probably, probably right. right. What kind of conversation is this? I have no idea, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Come on, back up. Oh, okay. Let's check out this house. This house is kind of interesting. Ooh, we can actually go inside. I bet you Nagito is here. He's the only guy that we haven't seen yet. What the? You? I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. Yo! Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something? The shower is out of order, but the ambience is nice. And the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome! Compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey, hey! hey don't shatter my dreams like that! 
That's right. More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Awesome. Totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. Miss Sonia! Uh, I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You can't! Whoa, it's here! Hey. Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? I won't Changing in the you. beach house is prohibited. It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Ah, uh, so you mean changing here isn't allowed? Not going to the beach itself? Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. You might let her down, though. Got it? Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. You guys. Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them, no questions asked. Yeah. Ah, he's here. You, what are you holding? <sighs> A machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. <laughs> ah, I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. Yeah. Control yourself. Hold I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it, no matter the cost, until the day someone breaks the rules. Um, um as you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Uh. Wow, that was totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Oh, okay. So can we leave? Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. Okay, what about this one? This door leads to the road by the tunnel. Ah, which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about that. Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagito. Whoa. I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well. I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How so let's just end all annoying talk right here. That's it, all done. He ended the conversation very forcibly. Just as I thought, he's definitely hiding something. Hajime. Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Um, I'm letting everyone else know too, but can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can, right? Right away, okay, hurry up. Huh, based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. Then, I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. But first, let me get some chapstick. Chapstick. Everybody's here, except Nagito. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, However it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. It seems, perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin? What's going How on? should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? School? I mean, it kind of looks like a vault from Fallout. Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Look at that door. It looks like a Fallout door. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a kawinky dink that this ruin looks familiar. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard. I'll freaking cut you if this is a waste of time. <laughs> I didn't know you were also here. <laughs> that bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope. Nope, nothing like that. Aw, oh, then who cares? I should have played in the bath with Mahiru more. Let me then, ask. what in the world did you find? Chiaki found something. I wonder what it is. Then why don't we freaking ask her? Hey, Chiaki, what did you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with this island's secret? Hmm. Uh, about that, I don't know. Hey. What do you mean you don't know? Hmm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. That's a little hard to understand. See? Look, the door over there. Door. This door. It's hard to make out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like that's the door to the ruin with a big-ass machine gun right in the handle. Hey. 
So what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of this dust and clearing some of these root things off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. You're right. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... What is this? Door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. What's going on? It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. And what is this symbol on the door? Oh? Huh. It looks like it's Japanese. Oh! Ah, oh, you're totally right. Oh. Um, I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai or Future. Future? <laughs> future! Hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Hey. All right, that must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Yes. Acting yes. all high and mighty, so what's next? It's obviously impossible to put the password without any hints. <laughs> uh, are you saying a normal person can't open it but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up! Shut up! If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Hold it. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? huh? What do you mean dangerous? Well, I mean, there is a big machine gun right there. Because that thing next to the panel, doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. Gun. Huh? That's a gun? If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? I think so, too. Damn it! It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! You do it, then! But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin, with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? Um... Um... You're both quiet? You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. No, I have no... I have no idea at all. I don't know either. For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell us some lousy lies. Um, you guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Oh, just as I thought. You guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey, hey don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Say you're sorry, bitch. I just said it. I just said I'm sorry. Is it possible that there was a connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter. And there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting hmm. all riled up. Several possibilities cross my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Hey, For instance, um... even though Monomi and I come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Huh? You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... No, she's gonna get her ass whipped. Hey, Water break! Yeah. My body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like that! Monami's kind of annoying. There! Now that I've shut up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus meteor fist... This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island! A mystery that even Monami and I can't solve! That's why I have high expectations for you guys! One day, you'll be able to solve that mystery! <laughs> that seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember what that black and white Tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Host Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group! Just kidding! I know. There's a traitor among us. That's what that ugly Tanuki said before. <laughs> Calling me ugly and a tanuki. Those kind of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. Hello. He's totally depressed. <laughs> there's a traitor. They probably know how to open this door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. 
Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monami is hiding there. But do you really think there's a traitor among us? No shit. Of course there is! Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess! That's... There isn't! There's no traitor anywhere! Hey, Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey. Oh, just have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender? I'm the one asking you a question. Don't just change the subject. I understand why you'd want to ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students, no, wait, elementary school students would come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So what is this organization? It's literally what it says. Those guys ended the world. Ended the world? Hey, That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? So basically... You mean, they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorist, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. <laughs> In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. What's going so on? So what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender, are you saying that you and Monami are also members of that organization? Who knows? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is... The organization that the traitor is working for, the one who brought you to this island... What? World Ender is behind it all! Are you Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. Don't panic. It's just another made-up story to trick us. Like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my belief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want. While I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. My, my. I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? What the <laughs> If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Silence. Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey, hey you better stop. I'm Shut up, Monami. Big brother defying trash like you needs to be punished. No, don't pull my ears, they're gonna come off! <laughs> Monokuma and Monomi departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who understood what the hell he was talking about? Um... Not a clue. Yeah. Hey, hey. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. After exploring the new island, all we uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned the reality, we began heading back to our cottages. What happened to Nagito? That's the biggest mystery of them all. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender? I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. What about the ding dong bing bongs, baby? I want some freaking ding dong and bing bongs, baby! Morning already, huh? It feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. Wow, everybody's here but Nagito mm. again. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think about what? <sighs> ah, isn't it obvious? That stuff he said about a traitor and world ender. I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. What's going well, on? that's obvious. The same goes for me, too. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. But, but I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No No need to worry. You don't have to worry about that traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance a worst case scenario, 
Impossible. Impossible! Even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Behold. Of course, in fact, that so called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. Huh? It cannot tied be. Tied up, you say? Oh, him and Kazuichi tied up Nagito. Um, could you be referring to Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito's the traitor! What about the other part, where you said he was tied up and can't move? Oh, crap! Hey, Kazuichi, what should we do? Dumbass, don't roll me into this! They'll find out we work together too! Oh, crap! You guys are both idiots. Hey, what does this mean? I mean... Well, you know... There's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Teru Teru committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? So that makes him a killer too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. So that's why you left him tied up? However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. How should I put this? He's a little creepy. Oh, now that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high he could sell tickets to see it. Good huh, that's actually a truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. Fall. What they Jeez. like and what they hate. What makes them happy? What makes them angry? It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards... What the hell is he talking hey. about, dude? You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge yourself. Anyway, where did you two tie up Nagito? Uh, the dining hall in the old hotel building. That's where Biakuya got killed. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. Uh, you killed him? Uh, he's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Then, then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm. Uh, it's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> he's also the most likely person to be the traitor. So isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. I see, if so, I see. it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Aww. Jeez, I didn't expect you two would do something like that. <laughs> I wish you'd treat it more like an achievement. <laughs> and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. <laughs> Who are you calling tiny boy? What? You're here? Jeez. In figures, you guys are messed up. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them. Tch, look at you sheep acting all righteous. Huh? What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. <sighs> oh, did the shitty sheep all bleed at me? What it looks did you like say? there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard. Try it if you dare, bastard. Shut up. You Shut can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You, you're just a pipsqueak without the Kazuryu clan backing you up. What'd you say? What did you say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. You bastards. I'll make sure you regret that later. Huh? What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um. Kazuichi, let's just stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting. I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. The future, huh? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry I didn't mean to. Phew. On top of this island's mysteries, now there's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, it's just one thing after another. I guess I'm the one who's gonna untie him. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left for our respective cottages. But am I gonna go hang out with Nagito or what? So what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Free time! Okay, let me actually see if I can go see Nagito. Nagito is tied up beyond this point. But I don't want to see him right now. I'm not mentally prepared for it. I shouldn't go inside. Yes, go inside! Come on, man! My goal of this episode was to talk to Nagito today, but I guess I gotta talk to everybody else. I'm on the borderline of developing a relationship with a human, you say? <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh. I'm the supreme overlord of ice. Everything about me is different from humans. My thought process, my principles, my existence, my foundation. Everything. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like him? Yes, let's go hang out. You want to get closer to me? <laughs> Such a meaningless act. No, you should already be aware of it. Begin. The fear you feel toward an existence you can't possibly understand. We continued talking as if we were on two separate wavelengths until it was time to leave. 
Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Let me see what I got. Um, I got a lot of stuff at the Mono Mono machine. So, that's a Kochoshimi, the pulpy white insides of a coconut. If you eat it with soy sauce and wasabi, it's something. I'm pretty sure it doesn't want some food. Fresh bindings. That's for um, that one medic girl. Boots that have raised soles, allowing the wearer to fake their heights. I think Fuyuhiko would like that because he's really short. An earring created by the legendary home tutor crafted from silver and gold. Ooh, I think I should give him that. You Hajime, you fiend. <laughs> you are rather nice. As long as this treasure is within my grasp, I will never forget this day. You Whoa there. It's better if you don't get any closer than that. An automatic barrier is generated independently of my will. It's not like I'm getting close or even planning to get close. Let me Which ask. reminds me, there's something I haven't asked you yet. It doesn't matter that your temporary name is Hajime Hinata. Tell me your true name, fiend. What the heck is this true name thing? <laughs> huh. So you're not foolish enough to tell me so easily. Fine. Then tell me your hidden name. I don't have anything like that. What? Then what is your special ability? There's no way I have any of those. How? Huh. So you really are just a mere human. I suppose it can't be helped. Then let me talk to you about something that even a mere human can understand. What happened? Ask me anything. Oh, so I have to ask. However, it's free for you to ask, but make sure you try not to understand. After knowing my true terror, it'll be quite a sight to see how long your sanity will last. Does he want to talk or not? Which is it? Talking to him is starting to get annoying, but he's totally ready and waiting for me. I guess I have to ask something. Um, what do you do with your free time usually? So you're interested in my lifestyle? Fine then. I shall reveal a portion of that to you. Fine. Training, human hunting, craft spell components, etc. Despite my looks, I'm quite the busybody. However, managing my website takes up the bulk of my time. Huh? I shall Obviously, sorcerers around the world are waiting to see my research results. Of course, my website has been magically enchanted, so only the chosen ones can view it. <laughs> A mere human like you will only be able to access the dummy site called Exciting Breeding Journal. I'd rather check out the Ultimate Breeder's Exciting Breeding Journal anyway. Fine. Then I will make sure to show you. Well, if we ever get out of here, that is. What well, you... are there any other questions? What's your favorite food? Fine. Huh, you've certainly hit the mark well. I'm fond of the orange melon which bears the face of the devil. Um, are you talking about a pumpkin? There was no other food as high in nutrients, nor as versatile to a variety of cooking methods. <laughs> More importantly, its seeds are the most effective food source for my four dark devas of destruction. However, you must carefully wash them, dry them in the sunlight, peel them, peel off the thin skin, and lightly fry them. I see, that sounds pretty difficult. Science. Is there anything in this world that isn't difficult? Pleasure and pain are irrelevant as long as you have a purpose, and take action for that sake. You're right, that's exactly right. Gundam is hard to understand sometimes, but I do understand the intent behind his words. Somehow, even though it's only a little, I feel like I'm starting to get to know Gundam better. Gundam's report card has been updated. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? We got time to hang out with one more person, so I'm going to try hanging out with Akane. Yeah. Nagito can't eat right now, right? That means he'll think about what he's done and settle down. Not eating is pretty much the worst thing ever. What should I do? Should I invite Akane to hang out? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Let's go for a little swim. I spent time today trying to keep Akane from swimming naked again. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. I think I'm gonna give her that coconut. Because maybe she wants some food? Yeah, Coco Shimi. Huh? I can really have this, right? right? Once I accept this, I'll never return it to you no matter what. Yo. Hey, you. Huh? What? Um. What's your name again? It's Hajime. Hajime Hinata. <laughs> All right, that sort of sounds like your name. Sorry, sorry, I keep forgetting somehow. I remember it easier if you keep giving me food or something. Are you an animal or something? Yeah. Oh, well, later. Huh? Wait, hold on. We only just started talking. Well, even so, I'm not interested in someone who looks like they have low fighting power. Just from looking at you, you're probably around a two. I don't deal with anything lower than trash, you know. What kind of measurement system is that? Like, why are you focusing on fighting power? That doesn't matter in gymnastics, right? Huh? Gymnastics? What are you talking about? I mean, you're the ultimate gymnast, right? <laughs> oh, that. Setting records and winning competitions is easy money. Money? You're just doing it for the money? What? Yeah, that's right. I've been doing it since this really persistent old man convinced me to give it a try. I've been running and jumping all over the place ever since I was a kid. You know, it's, uh, what's it called again? 
That thing where you run non-stop through a bunch of cluttered areas? Is it kind of talking about that? It's when you keep running as you jump around obstacles and buildings. Obstacle course... Um... Parkour, right? Is that parkour? I got it. Oh, that's it. That's exactly it. That's what the old man called it, too. Well, it doesn't matter what it's called. When you got people chasing you, you just naturally end up doing parkour when you're running away from them. You should try chasing me sometime. I seriously won't get caught. What kind of situations do you get into where you need to do parkour in the middle of the city? She's pretty crazy, but I'm a little jealous of how cheerful she is. Okay, so her report card got updated. I think we hung out with everybody we need to. And it's time to go to sleep, right? I want to talk to Nagito before this episode ends. But I don't even think that we can. Oh, ding dong, bing bong, baby! Maybe we can. Because we got the dings, and then we got the bongs, Ahem. and we got the baby. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Emergency! Oh, emergency. emergency. Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! Hell yeah, I Come love on, emergencies. Yeah. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! Come on, hurry the F up! He said hurry the F up. He family friendly out here. Curry rice, huh? It feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know. What's he planning this time around? But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? Yahoo! I'm the first one here! The curry's all mine! She totally took the bait. Indeed, I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too! Hey, hey. What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are freaking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Bastard. Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here! Thank you for waiting! Okie dokie, thanks for waiting! Thanks for the miracle of waiting! Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. What are you gonna no do? need to rush, no need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Hey. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries. It takes skill to make curry nasty. That is truly a nice line. But it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts! Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? What, is it that little video game machine back there? The reason why I summon you guys, if you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice. Huh? It's this thing, right? The arcade machine? What is this? Ah, isn't this an arcade machine? Correct. <laughs> That's correct. Thank you for So waiting. I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin. Don't tell me. You're going to tell us to play this game? Hey, what's the game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. Yeah. After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the no, heck? no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. Jeez. You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Famous game. I shall now, now then, present. I shall present it. Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder what Case. What the heck? That's pretty lame. I want to play games about riddle-solving professors or collecting cute monsters. Stupid! Don't <laughs> say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. I have no interest in weak things like video games! And I don't even know what generation of game that old is! With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Don't this adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. No, you know, no. like budgetary reasons. Man, and I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you Shouldn't saying? you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title! And what's the point of this game? Hmm? Huh? 
I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? <laughs> you certainly noticed the good part. That's right! This game is gonna be your next motive. Mm. The motive you need to kill people! After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Could it be? This game is the motive? Actually... In truth, the game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Um, what does that mean? Here. If you're interested, then try playing it. Uh, okay. Hey. You can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. Hey. Hey, if that's the motive. Wanna be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. Well, what? I see. That never occurred to me. Are you but sure are you sure this? you want to do that? Learning the motive means you're gonna be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared, and humans who aren't, I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. Hey, hey. What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know. Is it really all right for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're gonna just ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye bye! Bye bye! What the heck? This is bad. Hey, what should we do? But. Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. Anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There is no mistaking that. You are right. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But. But wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Whoever gets the motive will become the hunter, and the rest of us would become the prey. That's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true! <laughs> hey, it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Biakuya Teru Teru. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But... But Fuyuhiko makes a good point. Huh? You too? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? It's not like that, I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. That might be true, but... Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I will never, ever I'll let never another killing it. happen. Ding dong, bing bong, baby. I thought we were gonna play the game. But I guess we gotta go do the ding dongs and the bing bongs, baby. Oops, speak Academy! School trip executive committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 Oh, he called us out there and now we gotta go back? Please return to your rooms and relax. That is so lame. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Huh? It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um, me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn it in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still, that was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... <sighs> <sighs> Uh, I feel sleepy. I should go back too. I can't read her at all. Oh, I thought we were going to secretly play it. Kind of want to see what the next motive is, but... A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I have a feeling that the next killing is gonna happen in the next episode. So if you guys want to see that, 50,000 likes and I will release the next video as soon as I can. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, though. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!